worldwide demand for fish has doubled in the past 30 years due to the increase of the world's population and to an increase in the consumption of fish per capita. The production of fish by means of extractive fishing was at its highest levels up until 1990. The increase in production after the 90s occurred thanks to the development of fish farming. Today, 35% of the fish present on the market come from farms, a percentage that increases each year. Since 1998, the region of Tuscany, through the Regional Agency for the Development and Innovation in Agriculture and Forestry, has been carrying out research and providing technical assistance to this industry, focusing especially on environmental preservation, product diversification and quality of the fish, so as to guarantee the best product from an organoleptic and hygienic sanitary standpoint. As far as the diversification of the production is concerned, in order to ensure Tuscan produces new market opportunities and choosing to go by the European government's indications, Tuscany has promoted research in the refinement of framing techniques not only for the Argyrosomus regius, octopus and sole species, but also for the Senegalensis sole, Umbrina chirosa, mullet, mussels, flat oyster, freshwater shrimp, and for the production of only female or sterile lines of Fario and Iridea trout. In a healthy and balanced diet, Fish must be present at least three times a week. Fish is a very healthy and nutritious food, rich in easily digested proteins, vitamins and essential minerals, polyurosaturated fats of the omega-3 type, which help control cholesterol and cardiovascular diseases. Aside from extractive fishing, Fish may be obtained by farming in ways which are very similar to those realized throughout the millennia in agriculture or the breeding of animals. Fish farming uses techniques aimed at improving the productive yield of each species thanks to the continuous satisfaction of the natural need of the fish. Regardless of a 4,000 year old history, it is only in the past 50 years that this production has been considered the most rational solution to reducing the stress on worldwide fishing. In those regions where it is well developed, fish farming presents itself as a source of employment, commerce and economic development. The modern day fish farming owes its development to the knowledge acquired in biology, feeding and reproduction of the species farmed and at the same time to the development of important technological innovations which make possible the installation of farming cages in the open sea as well as environmental friendly structures capable of making the best use of coastal wetland. The history of aquatic animals and vegetables is very remote and is associated with the development of agriculture during the Neolithic period. Bas reliefs and paintings on Egyptian tombs show the breeding of tilapia since 2500 BC. It is reasonable to believe that ancient examples of fish farming are those of Italian and French Laguna cultures, which consist of simply controlling the reproduction of the carp and later of the trout, also thanks to the work of medieval monks. From the first successful endeavors in the reproduction of trout by Stefan Ludwig Jacobi, two more centuries had to pass until the control of the reproduction of salt water fish like the bass and gilt head could be achieved. In Tuscany, among the most interesting archaeological sites, dating back to the 2nd century, there is the famous Etruscan cleft 
in Ancedonia, a cleft made during the Roman period by constructing a series of wooden bulkheads to optimize the flow and return flow of the port waters so as to avoid the silting up of the sea floor. In the lagoon behind these waters, an area of pools for the breeding of fish captured during the turn flow of the tide was created. Going back in time, the mid 14th century, and of course in space and reaching the surroundings of Florence, at Settignano we find the Gambaraya estate, today Villa Gambaraya whose name came from the fact that shrimp, gambero, meaning shrimp in Italian, were fished in the nearby water course. This led to the latter construction of pools for the breeding of shrimp and fish.